Hey everybody, uh, First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Pan. Just a quick video update here. I wanted to answer as many questions as I possibly can. I'm getting so many that I can't go through the comments. and um, So I thought I'd do a video. It's just easier for me to do it this way. Um, number one question I'm getting is about flights. Um, I have no idea. Um, the thing about flights, um, it's totally up to the airline. It's not even up to me or up to the weather because so many airports will be impacted that aren't even going to see a drop of rain or any wind. So it, it's hard for me to say the airport here locally isn't going to shut down. I can tell you that much. But as far as flight delays, you got to check with your airline. It's just those are things and decisions that are far different than the weather. I I could tell you one thing and be totally wrong, and it would have nothing to do with the weather. So all I can tell you is what the weather is going to be. I don't know about impacts on flights. Second question, schools. That's another one. Totally independent of weather. I give information to school systems all the time, but how they use it and make decisions, it's totally up to them. Some have different criteria. For instance, in South Carolina and some parts of North Carolina, when the winds get above a certain speed, the buses can't be on the road. It's just a safety issue. But in many locations, we're not going to see winds high enough to be an issue. There's other times where schools are closed because uh, schools are used for shelters or the buses need to be used for evacuations. This happened during Florence. A lot of schools closed, not because of the weather, but because their school or buses needed to be used elsewhere. So those are logistical things that end up causing closures that have nothing to do with the weather directly. So I don't know. I don't foresee that being an issue, but I could also see some schools in South Carolina just saying, hey, we're not going to take the chances, get the buses off the road. The third question, travel. People want to know, should I drive here, X, Y, Z, there, there. Me personally, I have rain -X and good windshield wipers. I'm going to drive wherever. I would go anywhere in the Carolinas, but that's me. And that's another problem I have. It's like I can't be the the, the decision maker for you um, in this situation because it's just rain and some wind. It's nothing that – it's not Florence. It's not massive flooding. It's not catastrophic issues like they're having in Florida. This is a glorified wind and rainstorm for us. Yes, there could be flash flooding. There could be some trees and power lines down, but – this isn't anything out of the ordinary um, with a weak tropical system. And the other thing is it's moving very quickly. It's going to be in and out fast. So unless you're traveling in the middle of the day on Thursday, you're likely going to avoid the worst weather because in the morning rush, it might be fine. The evening rush might be kind of shady, but might be fine as well. It might be while you're stuck in the office. And so um, it might not have any impact at all on you. So me personally, those are tough decisions for me to make. I just give you the weather information. I, I can tell you what to expect. And then you need to make decisions based on that information. So if, if you don't like driving in the rain at all, then I would say stay home. But if you're okay driving in the rain, no big deal. If you don't like driving in 20, 25, 30 mile an hour winds, stay at home. But I can't, I, those decisions are just, those are beyond my, my expertise because it's a personal decision. Um, I would totally tell you if it was going to be a thing to stay off the roads or, you know, the local officials are telling you stay. We're not seeing any of that right now. So. Just want to answer as many of those questions as I can um, because it's I get a lot of those and it's just some of them I just can't answer. Um, we are going to see the worst weather between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. with the heart of the afternoon being the worst, like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So the middle of the day, and it's gone, folks. I mean, it's in and out. Heavy rain, yes. Could see some flash flooding. Could see some trees come down, certainly with 30 to 35 mile winds and heavy rain. But all in all, this is going to be a quick hitter. So if, if you can avoid the middle of the day and get everything else done, it'll be beautiful late Thursday night. Friday's great. Weekend's great. No issues anywhere once we get to the weekend. So hope that clears some things up. I try to answer as many questions as possible. That way I don't have to type and try to go through all those comments. Have a great day.